Welcome back to my channel everybody. This is going to be my second playthrough, Gold. As you can see I'm playing Gold, uh, but we're going to be going and playing Gold and Silver. Uh, just like Red and Blue, we're going to go ahead and try to catch every Pokemon possible, trade them from other games, and complete the Pokedex as far as possible. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. You woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? It is 12. Yes, 12. And how many minutes? 20. It is 1220. Whoa. Day 1220. Yikes. I overslept. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Well, I didn't. But, I'm playing gold. I'm going to choose gold. Gold, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab a potion. Let's not grab a potion. Okay. I guess uh, we don't get a free potion at the beginning of this game. Oh, and just unlike the other game, my mom actually cares that I'm up and walking around and leaving the house. Oh, gold. Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Gold received Poke Gear. Uh, Pokemon gear, or just Poke Gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Uh, it is. I'm going backwards. It is Tuesday. Tuesday, is it? Yeah, yep. Is it daylight savings time now? Um, I don't know. I do not know. I can never remember if the springtime is daylight savings and the fall time is when it ends. I believe that's how it goes. So it would not be daylight savings. 12.22 p.m.? Is that okay? Uh, come home to adjust your clock for daylight savings time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yes. Okay. And we're going to be told anyways. Isn't that convenient? Would have been convenient if you didn't tell me. All right. Let's go over here to Professor Elm. Ooh. What do we have here? Is this a peeping Tom? I'm put you in your place. So... This is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Wait, hey, that's just rude. That's just rude. I'm gonna remember that. You're on my list. You are on my list. Gold. There you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called 
Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us, please? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. Well, that sounds enticing. A Pokemon? Just for a little journey? Uh, they're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. Okay, sure. Just one. First off, we got Cyndaquil. I am very partial to fire type starters. Uh, most fire type starters are my favorite. Alright, and we got Totodile. Totodile's attack, I believe, is a little higher than his special, but there are no water type attacks in this generation that are physical. So it kind of lacks the ability to use water type attacks as strong as it should be able to. And then we got Chikorita. I almost called it Bayleaf. Chikorita. Out of the three starters in this generation, I believe Chikorita is probably my favorite. Uh, but Chikorita is not the one I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the option that nobody knows about. Trubbish. Oh. It, it, it must have escaped. It's just a wrapper. Okay. I guess in that case, I'm going to go with Cyndaquil. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire-type Pokemon? Yes. I think that's great Pokemon. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Gold received the Cyndaquil. Give a nickname to Cyndaquil. You received? Yes. Uh, is that a female? I don't know which way the arrows go for genders. I think that is a female. So if it is a female, I'm going to name her Cindy. I know, not very creative. But if it's a male, that's very creative. Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. Okay. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. Wink, wink. Well, that's just wrong, old man. Gold got Elm's phone number. How do I delete it? I need to delete it. Uh oh, no, no, another old man trying to do things. Gold, I want you to have this for your errand. I want you to have this for your errand. Ooh, there we go. There's that potion. All right. Uh, I went to the item pocket. Uh, there are only two of us, so we're always busy. Yeah. Uh, okay. There he is. He's still up there. Weirdo. And Route 29, I think. Uh, I'm going to be cutting out any wild encounters for now. Oh, like I was saying, I'm going to be cutting out all wild encounters, except for when I'm actually going to catch the Pokemon. And up here we have a potion. Gold found a potion. All right, all right, yay. Uh-oh. All right, oh, okay, back to the journey. Up there is Route 46, I believe it's called. We're gonna get to that route next episode. Uh, this episode's already gonna probably be around 20 minutes, 25 minutes, so. But yeah, this episode's gonna be 20, 25 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and cut out Route 40, not cut it out, but we're not gonna do Route 46 and Route 30 encounters until uh, next part. I needed to grab all the berries. Later on we have something we can do with our berries. So I'm, I'm going to need as many berries as possible. I don't really need a walkthrough, but I do want the, uh, the map card. Yep. Yep. That's a Poke Center. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think I knew that. Mm-hmm. And that's a Poke Mart. Yep. Uh-huh. I get balls. Yep. All right. I get balls there. Uh-huh. I, 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 I might have known that. Route 30 is out this way. Okay. 
Okay. Route 30. Mm -hmm. Made a note of that. This is the C. Can't you see? Yep. Yep. I think I knew that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that it? Is there anything else you want me to see? And that's your house. Now I got an old man showing me his house. Hmm. What's with these dirty old men? Thank you for your company. Yeah, I bet you want my company. You go in your house. I'm t go in your house. Perf. Alright. Let's head on up. Route 30. Let's try to find this. Mr. Pokemon's house. I think that was his name. Oh, forgot about this. Let's get a free berry. Just because uh, he wanted me to come talk to him. He, he, he needs some company, too. I get a free berry. And, and another one! Yay! Woohoo! Yippee! Alright, stop. Alright. Wow, don't counter there. Hopefully we can do the same thing here. Nope. Oh, okay. Head and up. Before we go in the house, there is a hidden item right here. Uh, just like red and blue, we're going to go ahead and try to get all hidden items. All, well, all items in general. If I happen to miss one, just let me know. I probably will. I'm definitely going to miss one or two. Or a dozen. Alright. Hello, hello! You must be gold. Professor Elms said that you would be visiting. Or that you would visit. This is what I wanted Professor Elm to examine. Gold received mystery egg. Gold put the mystery egg in the key item. Or key pocket. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued. So I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon... Uh, for Pokemon Evolutions, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumptions is correct, or if my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Aha! So you're gold. I'm Oak, a Pokemon professor, or a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh? What's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are friends. He saw that you would uh, he saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah. You seem dependable. How would you like to help me out? Well, I got two things to do now. See? This is the latest version of the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Gold received the Pokédex. Go meet many kinds of Pokémon and complete the Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Yeah. He's over here like, I'm a famous guy. Yeah, cool. Gold, I'm counting on you. Okay. Uh, don't count on me. Uh-oh, I'm not. I'm going to fail. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here. Your Pokemon should have some rest. Or should rest. Some rest. I, I couldn't figure out what the heck he's saying there. I'm dependent on you. Oh, no. Two people dependent on me. Uh-oh. Now I'm definitely going to fail. Oh, Professor Elm's calling. <laughs> Hello, Gold. It's a disaster. Uh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It, oh, no. Please get back here now. I couldn't even ask him a question. I don't know what's going on. Call my mom. She knows what to do. Uh, oh, before I forget, let me, let me take this off of him. I'm going to need the berries later, like I said earlier, so... Yeah, I'd rather just have it for later. 
I guess I'll get a couple extra berries. When I trade over the starters, I'll be able to get the berries off them as well. Uh, probably not. I don't think at the end of this. Oh. Oh, it's you. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. A wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Well, I didn't forget you. You pushed me. I'm getting you back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wants to fight or battle. Mm -hmm. Sent out Totodile. Let's go, Cindy. Let's hit with a Leer. And we're... I guess that's not too bad. Oh my goodness. Totodile, your attack sucks. Well, I'm going to be using my potions, I bet. I got three. If I have to use all three... Oh my gosh, this would be a bad battle. Like I stated in my blue ver- Oh, crit. Nice. Like I stated in my blue version, I hate the first rival battle. Well, I, in general, I just hate early route battles. It's just, you know, two Pokemon bashing into each other. It's, you know, it's not even a battle. It's just, you know, there's no strategy to it. Brilliant was defeated. Hmm. Are you happy you won? Oh, yeah, 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 I am. Uh-huh. You pushed me, kicked me, whatever you did to me. Uh, I didn't forget it. Ooh, $300. My name's... I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Okay. Oh, you pushed me again. I'm... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm getting mad now. Nah, I'll never see him again in my life, will I? Mm -mm. I won't see him again. Let's just let it go. I can't wait to get the bike. I don't think there's running shoes in this one, is there? Mm, don't think so. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. Oh. Okay, I could never... I never really knew if that character was a male or a female. Because when I was a kid, I, did, I, you know, I didn't read the dialogue, so... I just kind of played the game. I wanted to battle Pokemon, catch Pokemon. I didn't care about what the, the actual story is. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Yeah, it's... But, I'm going to give him this name. Why not? Why not? That is the uh, official name. Okay, so Silver was his name. No, it wasn't, but thanks for helping my investigation. Uh-huh, sure. I did your job for you. Gold, this is terrible. Oh, oh. oh yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Gold handed the Mr. Egg to Professor Elm. This? But, is it a Pokemon Egg? If it is, it is great. It is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Gold, is that true? That's incredible. You think I'm lying to you? I, that's just something I make up, right? Uh huh. Yeah. I, I was like, oh yeah, somebody gave me a Pokedex. Elon Musk just gave me a Tesla. Uh huh. Oh, I did lie about that one. He is superb at seeing... Uh, he is per superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Gold. You may have what it takes to become the champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be in Violet City. Gold. The road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave... Make sure that you talk to your mom. Yeah, because in this game, my mom actually cares. Oh, well, my mom actually cares that I, uh, I'm leaving. Gold! 
Use these on your Pokédex quest. To add your, uh, to add to your Pokédex, you have to catch Pokémon. Throw Pokéballs at wild Pokémon to get them. You need some water. Yeah, uh, I'll come back. Give you some water. You need some water. You got that frog voice going on. All right. Let's go talk to mom because mom actually cares about me. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? So you're leaving on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money's important. I bet you will save my money. Do you want me to save your money? Not really, but I do need the items, so... Okay, I'll take care of your money. You know you won't. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now, go on. Okay. Mama's pushing me out of the house. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm homesick already. Oh, hi. I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Well, that's mean. Yeah, you should rub that in my face just because I haven't caught a Pokemon yet. Would you like me to show you how to catch a Pokemon? No. Okay, fine. Fine then. Anyway, if you want to catch Pokemon, you have to walk around a lot. Well, don't be condescending towards me. I just, you know, I'm busy. I got a, a stuff to do. Oh, and we got a Pokemon. Let's show him. I know how to catch a Pokemon. And it's a Pidgey, level two. I was actually thinking about using Pidgey on my team, but uh, there's a Pokemon later on that I'm gonna get. He is worse at first, but he will get a lot better. So, but we'll get that one later. That's gonna be uh, quite a bit from now, so. Uh, Pokeball, let's show this guy. I know how to catch a Pokemon. There we go. Pidgey was caught. Now let's see what the Pokedex ha po let's see what the Pokedex has to say about Pidgey. It usually hides in tall grass because it dislikes fighting. It protects itself by kicking up sand. Oh, I know about sand being kicked in my face by Pidgey. Do I want to nickname Pidgey? No, no, I don't. All right, we got two. Well, three more Pokemon. I am going to try to get one of them, and then, let's see, I'll probably come back at night. One of them has to be at night time to catch. The other one doesn't have to be night, but it's a lot easier to find him at night. Let's go, Sandtrack. Where are you at? There we go, Sandtrack. Sandtrack. Level 3. I don't know why, when I was a kid, I loved Sentret. Now that I'm an adult, I know how much he sucks. But it was nice to get a Pokemon fully evolved early on. I think, what, level 15, uh, if I remember correctly? Alright, Pokeball. Go! Go! Catch the Sentret! There we go, Sentret was caught. That's three Pokemon. A very cautious Pokemon. It raises itself up using its tail to get a better view of its surroundings. I do not want to nickname you. No. Alright. I'll be back here in a minute. I gotta... I gotta, uh... Do some stuff. Alright, we're back. Let's see if we can get these other two Pokemon. Maybe. There we go. And the first one's going to be a Hoot Hoot. There's an 85% chance of finding a Hoot Hoot, so not too surprised by uh, Hoot Hoot appearing. I think I've used Hoot Hoot once, once before. Back when I was a kid, you know, I... Oh my goodness, alright. Nope, wrong thing. 
Back when I was a kid, you know, I thought catching a bunch of Pokemon on the first few routes was a really good team. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Alright. Come on. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Apparently I did need a uh, help with that guy. From that guy. Come on, hoot hoot. Stay in the ball this time. I don't have enough to really be playing like this. There we go. And one more to go. What does the Pokédex say about you? It always stands on one foot. It changes feet so fast, the movement can rarely be seen. That sucks as a... Whatever. Alright, let me find the last guy and I will be back. There we go, Rattata. I would not like... I do not care to say how long it took me to find Rattata. I went through... Probably about 20... It was, it was somewhere around 20, 25 uh, hoot hoots before I finally found Rattata this time. Alright, this should be an easy catch. Level 2, barely any HP. But I got one ball left, so let's hope it stays in. Let's cross our fingers. There we go. Five Pokeballs, four Pokemon. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nah. It eats anything. Wherever food is available, it will settle down and produce offsprings continuously. Well, why are they surprised about eggs? If they knew this about Rattata... Uh, no, I will not nickname you. Uh, but yeah, no, that's going to be it for this, this uh, episode. Next episode, we are going to catch all the Pokemon on Route 46, on Route 30, and Route 31. We may get a little farther... But we'll see you on the next uh, episode. And have a good one.